Hi, I'm Cathy Creer and I play the piano and I will present my recital at the Beaux-Arts on October 12th. Why did I choose to play the piano? Well, actually, both of my parents are musicians and I did not start with the piano. I started with the violin because my father is a violinist and uh, he was practicing with me, but he wouldn't allow me to sit and I was too lazy to stand. So that's why I choose to play the piano. At that moment, I didn't know the cello that could have been an option too. Um, the person that inspired me the most within my career and why? Well, actually, that's quite a difficult question. Um, there are so many people that inspired me um, on different levels and different stages of my life and my career. So it's really difficult to name only one and I wouldn't like to name only one. Um, but all these people have something in common. Um, they all share this ability to go for something. Um, I love people that take risks and, not a, and are not afraid of it. Um, and that's something that inspires me a lot. What was your first or strongest musical experience you can remember? Well, I can remember the first recital I ever attended. It was uh, Brigitte Engerer playing at the Théâtre de la Ville du Luxembourg. Um, and I was three years old, but I really can remember this uh, recital. It's still a very vivid memory. I remember where I sit. I remember what I was wearing. Um, and um, I think from that moment on, I knew that I wanted to play the piano. Can you share with us an uncommon or weird passion habit of yours? Well, <laughs> there are a lot of uncommon things about me. Um, but I can tell you one uncommon thing. Um, I think in normal life, I am quite an organized person. But on the other hand, I'm also very chaotic, especially, you know, tidying up. I hate that, really. I hate to tidy up. So, um, it's something that really chaos doesn't disturb me. And then there's one point when there's too much chaos. Then I have to tidy up, even if it's in, at three in the night and I'm coming home very late, and it will take me two or three hours, I have to tidy up at that moment. It's not very intelligent, I assume, but well. Hmm. Why did you choose this program? Well, I tried to make some connections between the pieces that I chose. Um, there's the Van der uh, Fantasy by Schubert and um, On the Overgrown Path by Leos Janacek. The two cycles or pieces are about a journey. So there's a strong connection between the two pieces. And then on the other hand, there's the Alban Berg Sonata for piano, Opus 1. And um, Janacek admired Berg a lot, so he knew what Berg was doing and even if they never met, I think, but he was a big admirer of uh, Alban Berg's work. And then there is the piece that has been specially written for me um, by Denis Schuller, which I will premiere in Brussels, L'Autre Rivage. Um, which is a very nice piece that I enjoy very much and I hope you will like it. Um, and I think I will give you also some listening keys for that piece as it is a new piece and um, maybe you can appreciate it even more. Um, Denise's piece is about the resonance 
So it is a study of how the evolution of the sound is from the moment on you press the key and how it will develop. It is the first piece in my life where I don't have to change pedal in more than seven minutes. Um, I'm even not allowed to change pedal actually. Um, and you should listen to how the different pitches somehow mix and then develop and 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 some pitches vanish at one point and it's really interesting so be very it's very delicate so you have to be focused when you listen to it to to hear all these little details um Can I share by playing a short fragment of a score I especially like? I can. Um, although I have Schubert on my piano, I will start with the first bars of uh, the Alan Bergson. Then it continues. Last but not least, a short message to my viewers. Well, I hope you will enjoy the concert and, you know, try to be open minded and curious. And hopefully, you will enjoy it. Bye bye.